okay so here um, now we are going to create a sessions for a newly created syntaxes in ABAP so this is a video series uh, which we will be discussing about all the new syntaxes that were introduced in SAP ABAP so this will be uh, this will be like class one say for example and uh, we will start with inline declarations we we'll start with inline declarations so uh, let us try to differentiate the syntaxes of previous i mean before to 7.4 and uh, no, currently the 7.4 version. We'll discuss both of them. So, for example, uh, this is before 7.4 version. So, before 7.4 version, say for example, if I want to declare any variable, so how we will do that? Say for example, data text which is of type string, or else let me give a variable name as a, which is of type string. So here a is a variable which is of type string and if i want to pass any data into a i can say a is equal to some three and i can print write a so this is how we used to do uh, before 7.4 version so if i execute i'll get the required data so this is before 7.4 now what is the flexibility that we have in with 7.4 version that is inline declaration there is no need to the main purpose of this uh, 7.4 syntax or inline declaration is to reduce the coding line so if i want to declare any variable i can simply say data in bracket i have to mention the variable name and if i want to assign some text to it directly I can hard code it here right so one one of the line is getting reduced here so right uh, instead of uh, for declaration we are having one line here for assigning some data into that variable we have another line so here I can do it in the same line data whatever name that you want to assign for your variable you can mention that inside the bracket is equal to and whatever text or data that you want to send into that variable you can send it and simply you can say right here then also i'll get the desired output right now let us uh, discuss the inline declarations in loop inline declarations in loop and in loop so for this let me take we need to take some example here um, say so to understand this uh, uh, we need one internal table so let me declare one internal table say for example um, it underscore k name type table of k name and our carrier will take type k name so in general just assume that uh, this is an internal table assume that this internal table is having some data in it so in general how we will loop this internal table i will say loop at it underscore k n1 into work area right then loop. so this is the general syntax we will write for looping a internal table that is before 7.4 version So now what we can do is with 7.4 version we can inline declare this work area I'll comment this so uh, we can use internal table it uh, underscore k and a1 this internal table also dynamically we can uh, declare that we will see in upcoming session so it k and a1 type table of k n1 and this loop i will say loop at it underscore k n1 into data 
work area. So here I am declaring this work area in loop only and the loop statement itself. I will not get any error. So you can observe the declaration part of work area code is minimized here. That is, I am declaring the work area in the loop statement itself. So what will happen dynamically, the structure of this internal table will get allocated. I mean, with the same structure, a work area will get created. So this is how the loop statement, inline statement works with. Suppose if you consider field symbols, field symbols, So how, how you declare field symbol? I will say field symbol. Uh, so for example, fs underscore line, which is of type some kn1. <coughs> right? And if you want to loop the internal table, it, let me recommend this internal table declaration. Loop at it underscore kn1 into Sorry, uh, because it is field, field symbol. So loop at it kn1 assigning what is the field symbol name? fs underscore line. Right? And loop. So check this. I am not getting an error. This is before 7.4 version. Before 7.4 version. With 7.4 version, what we can do is with 7.4 version, what you can do is I will comment this again, same inline declaration itself. So loop at it underscore kn1 assigning field symbol. So you can declare the field symbol here itself. So for example, fs underscore line something like this in loop right the declaration part of field symbol is happening in the loop statement itself no need to explicitly declare the field symbol so inline declaration is also working with field symbols so this is about loop with field symbol now let us see the read statement with field symbol uh, so let me uncomment this so while using the read statement inline declarations so what you will do generally read table it underscore kn1 assigning that particular field symbol right assigning that field symbol now sorry assigning so let me give some index, index from something like this. <clears throat> okay. So now this is before 7.4 version. Now what you can do here, you can see I am explicitly declaring this. So with 7.4 version, what you can do? Let me remove this and this. So I'm enabling only internal table declaration. So with 7.4 version, what you read, read table, it underscore kn1, assigning field symbol, declare a field symbol here, fs underscore i. Type some index one or something like this. Check. Right? The declaration of field symbol in the read statement also can be done by inline declarations. Now, let us uh, see the select statement also. Select statement with inline declarations. So, as we had already declared internal table here with the reference of database table kn1, I can simply say select star from kn1 into table it underscore kn1, which is a 
statement without any errors. So this is before 7.4. Now this internal table declaration also can be done in line uh, with inline declaration in 7.4. So for this, uh, let me remove this declaration part, and this one also. So what I can do here is select star from k one into table at the rate symbol data it underscore k one So here I am declaring the, I'm, no, you can see there is a, nowhere I am declaring the internal table except here in the select statement itself i am declaring the internal table dynamically right whatever the fields you have in kn1 all the fields will be assigned as a structure for this internal table that will happen so in select statement also dynamically you can use this what about select single so uh, before 7.4 version how we used to do that you have to say select single select single say for example kunar uh, lan one name one from kn1 into let me declare some i mean uh, let me mention some fields here lv underscore kunar comma lv underscore land one comma lv underscore name one right so here if i check this i may get some error here so let me declare those things out so here i will say data lv underscore kunar which is of type kunar <coughs> data lv underscore land one which is of type k one land one I don't remember the data element that is the reason I'm like LV underscore name one type I think it is name one underscore GP right so now if I check this I'll not get it. so this is how you generally uh, declare fields and use it inside a select statement that is before 7.4 version now with 7.4 version how you can do this I'll remove this remove this now with 7.4 version i can say like select single kunar as so for example lv underscore kunar and sorry right and land one as lv underscore land one name one as lv underscore name one right from k one into data let me give some structure name here so for example ls underscore k one ls underscore k one now if i check this so when you are declaring in inline declaration with a structure you have to specify the commas especially when you are declaring inline declaration and you are using fields so here we are using select star so that is the reason it is not asking for any comma or something like that especially when you are using fields so what you can do is you have to use commas here so then what's happening here it is a work area which I am uh, declaring by using inline declaration statement and I can say write once the data come into this ls underscore kn1 I can print it from the structure I mean from work area lv kunar right ls underscore kn1 land one ls underscore name one uh, sorry, ls underscore k n one name one like this. So inline declaration in a select statement uh, declaring a work area. 
So here you have to select the field names for the particular work area. And don't forget to use commas, especially when you are using fields instead of select star. Right? So what will happen? You will get the data. 